I am Anil Kumar and now let us review some trigonometry applications. We might apply sine law and cosine law to solve this one. Question is, Peter has just observed a firework go off in the sky at an angle of 28 degrees with the ground. Sam was standing 20 meters from Peter directly in the line of the firework and closer to where it went off. He observed the firework at an angle of 40 degrees with the ground that is angle of elevation. Determine the distance from Peter to where the firework went in the sky to the closest meter. I'd like you to pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. Well, let us first sketch the scenario, right? So it is like that's the ground and let's say Peter is observing from this point at an angle of 28 degrees. So let me write down 28 degrees. Okay. Now point P for Peter, fine. Now it says Sam was standing 20 meters from Peter. So let us say Sam is standing, but closer to where it went off. So let us say somewhere like this will make, and this is Sam's position and the angle of elevation is 40 degrees. Correct. What do we need to find? We need to find the distance of this fireworks from Peter. So let us say that distance is D for us. So this is the distance, right? Let's call this point F. And we are also given that Sam is standing 20 meters from Peter. That means this distance between P and S, Peter and Sam, is 20 meters, right? So that is the question for us. Now from here, what we can do is, we can find the angles within the triangle, right? We know 20 meters distance between P and S. Let us find the angle S. This angle will be how much? 40 minus taken away from 180. So it is 140. And then we can find the angle F also. You would actually find angle F by knowing that this is exterior angle 40, which is sum of these two angles, right? You could do like that also. So let me say that. So we have 40 is equals to 28 plus angle F and from here we can find angle F. The other thing which you could use is 28 degrees plus 140 degrees plus angle F is equals to 180 degrees. Sum of all the angles. That is exterior angle theorem, right? So 40 take away 28 is 12. So let me write down uh, 12 here or either way you can find that angle. So once we know this particular triangle, we know one of the sides which is opposite to the known angle now and therefore you can apply the sine law. So let's apply sine law to solve this triangle. Since we need to find D, we can write D first. D over sine of angle opposite which is sine of 140 degrees is equals to known side 20 meters. divided by the angle which is sine of 12. Correct? So now this is kind of ratios. You can find D by cross multiplying. So D is equals to 20 divided by sine of 12 degrees times sine of 140 degrees and the units will be in meters. Correct? So let's use the calculator find the answer. So we have 20 times sine of 140 equals to divided by sine of 12 equals to 61.83. Now says rounding to closest meter that means we'll round it to 62 meters right. So that is how you can solve this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.